Hey ladies, good morning. Let me get straight to the point. My story uh, about the power of the tongue comes from when I was giving birth to my daughter, Ava, which was pretty recently. She's almost two now. Um, so there I was in the throes of my contractions and I was told that I couldn't push yet because of the dilation and all that. And I was starting to get a, a flood of calls from family members who wanted to talk to me um, and even FaceTime me as I'm laying there um, experiencing some of the most tremendous pain and difficulty of my life. And I had made up my mind uh, before the birth that Anything I say out loud, I'm just going to thank God, and it's true. When I was, um, when I was laying there, if I had to push and stuff, I was saying things like, "Thank you, Lord," and I was saying, "Praise God." And I know this is unusual, but for me, it was an important thing um, for Ava to come into the world with praise. Um, and I made up my mind about that some time before. But my sister FaceTimes me. I'm laying there, and I loved, I'm, I'm always super just honest and raw with my sister. She's five years younger than me, and as her older sibling, the oldest ch child of the family, I want to make sure that she understands the truth of the world because sometimes it can be very challenging and she said laura how do you feel and the truth was that i was so absorbed in the process of it all that i wasn't i was numb i actually wasn't really feeling anything i had i hadn't had an epidural i had a totally natural birth but um, somehow in my mind, I was just not experiencing um, the extreme pain. I had gotten up to a point where I couldn't experience any more pain. So I said to her, Katie, I am in so much pain. And the second I said it, I felt it all again. And I felt it so intensely that I had to, <laughs> right Ava? I had to get off. I was like, okay, gotta go, gotta go. I had to get off the call and refocus my heart and mind so that I could get back to where I was in my mind before that and just get back into the breathing and get back into the focusing on the Lord and his goodness and um, looking back on that experience, I'm just like, what else in my life am I, am I doing okay? I'm hanging in there. I'm riding the wave. I am actually okay. I'm doing good considering the situation where if someone were to ask me, oh, how's your relationship with blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh, Laura, how are you doing with uh, your, your financial situation. And if I were to say out loud, like something negative, something obvious and yet negative, um, then like, how would that impact my experience? Would I suddenly start feeling the tidal waves of anguish about a relationship that God actually has me in a good place right now, um, you know, mentally and in my heart about, but by talking about it, I just bring out, I release all of this unnecessary uh, feeling, unhelpful feeling. So I, I just want to share that with you. And I think, you know, it's not really about suppressing um, emotion or lying to yourself. This is about riding the waves, living in God's grace. God had grace on me for my, my uh, birthing of Ava. I, I was able to live mentally and physically in a zone of, you know, God putting me in a 
position where I could handle the pain without in like too much you know, bad feeling, I guess. Um, I hope this was helpful to you and I hope that you will consider that. That is what I'm considering this month, Morning Miracles Challenge. Where, where can I um, affirm rather than de destruct certain parts of my life, certain attitudes, um, and just glorify God more in my speech. Okay, that is it. I'll see you later. Bye.